A good morning to you, my friends. At 616, we take that check tracking the tropics. We got Tropical Storm Philippe still continuing to churn out there and actually looks to impact Bermuda getting further into this week as we roll on into this Friday by the end of the day, continuing to get also some impacts in the Carolinas, not in the way of the actual storm. But reminder, rip currents need to watch out for this as it continues to push further up into the Atlantic. We can get some churning up right along the South Carolina. Carolina coast. So if you know anyone at the beach, you're heading there, perhaps as we go on towards Saturday, something to be mindful of out in that water it could be a bit tricky going later into the week. We are going to see Philippe likely making some landfall. Current projections have it going into Maine as a weakening tropical system, but still this is making for a historic season of what we've seen with hurricane season as this would be the second system to make some type of landfall or impacts to Maine. It is crazy just the way things have tracked, but that's how it pans out for us. We go back locally into our Friday. What we see here other than into the Midlands, some morning clouds, eventual sun to break out today. We get that to fight back eventual high pressure again, but the big difference is it's with a driving force of winds out of the north and west. And in short for us, that means a lot of cool air, dry air fights in for our weekend. And by the time we are said and done with the first half of it, Sunday morning, Listen up, we'll be in the 40s. If you haven't heard that yet or caught that in the forecast this week, it's time to break out some of the heavier layers. Quick check on how things are panning out right now. We're getting this quick little push of moisture to start out the day. Widespread clouds. Some of our western viewing area, though, has the potential to get hit with a couple showers. Very light, though. It's already going to work to dissipate as we get close to sunrise, but it's still there trying to fight through. Let's track it through. Getting towards 7, 8, AM. We are going to see this little tiny push, a few little light showers. It's likely just going to be drizzle for most, but hey, it's some manner of rain, which we haven't seen for a little while. As we go to this afternoon, things dry up, sun breaks out. We get highs in the lower mid 80s, so 82, 83 degrees. I would say 83, a reasonable high temperature for today. Not going to take too much to get there because of the milder morning lows. So as we work past that, here comes the front. Boom, knocking through Saturday morning. Now it comes with a little round of clouds. So as you notice that clouds might be passing overhead, you're an early Saturday riser. This is that front as winds work to kick up a little bit. And as this passes through, this is where we get that drier and cooler air mass back to the Midlands. Well, st we're still going to get a lot of sunshine tomorrow, so that will push highs to 77, 78 degrees, but it's not necessarily going to feel like it as our bodies perceive it because the wind chill will keep things a little bit cooler. So if you're out and about tomorrow, you can have some breaks in the shade. You can honestly get away with a little extra light Light jacket layer, light crew neck, something like that. You won't be too overheated as we go into Sunday. Really going to want to bundle up morning hours, 40s. Ah, the October chill coming quick as we go into the day. Might not even reach 70 for that high temperature. Today, making that run to the store, run out to work, to school. It's going to be uh, pretty nice as we go into the afternoon. A little gloomy and gray for the morning, but still mainly dry. You know, a few out towards the west could see a couple little showers, but it's not going to be that impressive. Quick look overnight. Lows fall back a bit closer to 60. Sky is clear, and then we see that drier air mass taking command. Fall fields dominate for the weekend. The big weather story has continued. We will by the tail edge of next week see some rain potential, but those 40s coming Sunday and Monday morning. Dress warm.